Number 10. Uncharted Waters New Horizons Made by Koei, it revolves around six characters, each with their own story and fleet. It's a very cryptic game because it involves several different gameplay mechanics, from trading goods to make more money to buy equipment, to a day and night timer to carry out your various activities. In truth, it is a pirate simulator with strong role-playing elements. To gain wealth, you must attack merchant ships at sea in these real-time strategy battles. Finally, you can duel the enemy commander in this interesting turn-based system. Stories here are very well written and so are the characters. I particularly liked Catalina's route. Uncharted Waters 2 is quite hard to get into without a manual or a walkthrough, mainly thanks to all the micromanagement involved. Upon understanding it though, it's easy to see why it's one of the best JRPGs of 1994. Number 9. Brain Lord This is a top-down view action RPG popular and infamous at the same time for this fat-looking sprite. <laughs> yeah, that's your main character, the one you control through many crazy ordeals and challenging puzzles. Two things really stand out in Brain Lord, the music being very electronic with strong blues influences and the boss battles, which can be quite unique to a certain degree. In the end, it is a hidden gem on the Super Nintendo and obviously of 1994. Number 8. Vi. That's the name, I'm serious. Even though it's a very strange name, the game itself is far from it. In simple terms, it's a turn-based RPG, nothing more, nothing less. For a game of its time, it is also a hidden gem and kind of underrated, considering the fact that it's not a grind fest. Yep, friendly approach to the genre and perfect for beginners. Story follows a horrific invasion from giant mechs to a medieval castle. Similar to Fantasy Star 3, they interrupt a wedding, kidnap the girl, and the prince has to go and save her. It may sound generic, but trust me, Vi is a neat and solid adventure for an RPG of its time. Number 7. Dragon View Welcome to another action RPG, brutally hard, but quick paced and very fun to play. You know, Brain Lord was quest driven while this one is linear, however, they're both games that don't really focus on the story. The gameplay in Dragon View is all that matters, as it invites you through many awesome dungeons with all types of crazy creatures. It's not a button masher though, as you need to carefully think about how you'll deal with each one of them. It's a cool game and yet another underrated hidden gem of this golden age year. Number 6. Popful Mail Moving on to even more underrated and obscure titles. Platforming, side-scrolling, metroidvania type of games. Ever heard of those? Then you're committing a crime if you don't try one of the absolute best action RPGs of 1994. A fantastic soundtrack full of catchy and energetic themes is overly present here. Comedy and charisma carry the story throughout the short adventure with three different playable characters. Just keep in mind it's a very hard game, but totally worth the challenge. Number 5. Dark Wizard Dark Wizard is a heavily underrated strategy RPG. It takes the map and battle mechanics from the classic Master of Monsters and adds role-playing elements. You can choose between four different main characters with their goals and missions. This game has an adult, serious story with a long, interesting background mainly told by the good old Sega CD animated cutscenes. The maps are all about wiping out all enemies and conquer their bases. There will be some cities along the way where you'll be able to gather information, buy items, and heal. In your castle you can hire more soldiers or creatures to aid you in battle. Overall, a great game and an obscure influence for games like Brigandine on the PlayStation, for example. Number 4. Illusion of Gaia Yet another action RPG, a forgotten gem on the Super Nintendo. Just like with Pop Full Mail, it's a game where you control three different fighters 
which are very distinct in their skills and abilities. Beautiful story with some really deep moments here and there. The challenge is balanced, so it's also a great entry for beginners into retro RPGs. Illusion of Gaia might as well be yet another revolutionary game of its time, and one of the best of this year. Number 3. Breath of Fire The start of Capcom's iconic and popular RPG franchise. The first in the series that follows the quest of Ryu, the dragon kind, and Nina, the winged girl. Alongside many different characters, together they journey the world to find Ryu's sister and overthrow an evil empire. Turn-based experience with neat battle mechanics, awesome pixel art, neat graphics for its time, and a very memorable soundtrack. Number 2. Shining Force 2 The sequel to The King of 1993. Another excellent strategy RPG, but with a different approach. This time the story was lighter, with a younger protagonist and charming cast of characters. Battle system remained the same, just as good as its amazing predecessor. But in my opinion, this one has much better music, which totally represents the Sega Genesis in all its form and glory. Number 1. Final Fantasy VI At last! The masterpiece, the icon, one of the absolute best RPGs in Final Fantasy, of the Super Nintendo and of 1994. A junction of masterful music with storytelling that excels every single game of this generation. Its remarkable and unique cast of characters, their deep and emotional journey, the amazing graphics and pixel art, Everything connects perfectly with its battle and gameplay mechanics. Final Fantasy VI was a striking inspiration for role-playing games and one of the most important stories ever made in their history. Glad I was able to include once again some obscure titles that deserve more attention. And also glad to close the top with my favorite Super Nintendo RPG. That's it for this video. See you in 1995.